Sisters and brothers in Christ, I come to you today with a heavy heart to share a difficult announcement. As many of you know, the CDC has suggested limiting gatherings to less than 50 people, and the President of the United States um, is suggesting limiting gatherings uh, to 10 people in confined spaces. And having already canceled all ministry events outside of worship until we are able to resume, the time has come for us to announce the cancellation of all worship services on site through March 29th. It is possible that this date could be extended further based on information from the CDC, the World Health Organization, and government officials. Of course, we'll continue to monitor the situation closely and share announcements as they are needed in the days and the weeks ahead. In order to provide a worship experience, we are going to provide online streaming options for our worship services. The first opportunity will be tomorrow, Wednesday, March 18th, with a 6 p.m. Lent service. You can visit trinluth.org for a direct link to the live stream site. And we will also offer an online worship experience during our three times on Sundays, 8 a.m., 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. So we invite you, please gather your family together, especially those who may need a little extra help figuring out how to get to the link, and uh, worship together with us in your homes. And if those folks can't gather with you, please call them up and help them try to navigate toward the link so that they could experience this worship as well. There will also be some changes regarding access to the facility here at 801 South Madison Street. Until at least March 30th, the church office will be open only from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Monday through Friday. If you are uh, want to, to um, meet with one of our staff, uh, you can certainly do that. You'll just need to make sure you make an appointment with them so they know to be here and to give you access to the building with them. Please note that we also still encourage emails and voicemails. They'll be monitored closely, uh, regularly, as we have been doing and continue to do uh, during our normal hours as well. And of course, uh, call us at 309-828-6265 or email us at info at trinluth.org if you're in need of prayer or some other kind of pastoral care. Today I was reminded of the intentional time we spent focusing on Matthew chapter 7 verses 24 and 25. That was way back in September when we began our ministry year. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows is like a wise is is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise, the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock, on solid rock. While many things are shifting around us, we stand on a firm foundation. Jesus Christ is our rock and our salvation. So I encourage you to use this season to dive deeply into the Word of God and be fed by Him. And if you don't know where to start, you can read the Lent devotion that we've written for this season every day, a word from Scripture, a devotional thought, and some ways that you can think more about it. And I've been sharing on Facebook and our Facebook page, I've been sharing that live each day and the recordings can be found on our YouTube channel as well. We pray that that will be a blessing to you during this time. I got to tell you, I've been really encouraged. I know this is not great news, but it's been powerful to see um, our brothers and sisters in Christ and the LCMS across the nation coming together and getting creative about how we can reach and connect to each other using well technology and other means. And it's been awesome to see our brothers and sisters in Christ, other denominations, even in our area, reach out to those in need and find creative ways to connect together. We will continue to do that. And we're going to continue to adjust as we need to for this time until we do indeed get to gather again. And what a great celebration it will be when we gather together again and raise our voices to praise God together. But in the meantime, uh, connect with each other, call each other, email each other, text each other, and check in. Pray for each other. See how you're doing during this time. We will continue to do the same. Well, next time I see you, or at least until I see you again, 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and indeed give you his peace.